Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. Uh, these are some of the front grille or front nose components for the 1950 Ford F47 pickup truck that we're doing a complete restoration on. Um, for our US friends, this would be the identical um, pieces to an F1. So in Canada, they're referred to as an F47 pickup, uh, but in the US, they're an F1, uh, virtually identical vehicles. Um, so in terms of trim, we're basically making lots of progress. In our previous video we shared with you where we had the, uh, the truck cab and the doors um, after being painted the nice cream beige color. Uh, we've installed the cab and the doors in our previous video. So now what we're doing uh, is preparing a lot of the parts for the um, reassembly to continue. So as we work on the steering column and dashboard and firewall components, we also need to work on the front end section. Um, so we have our inner fenders and our radiator cradle and those sort of components already done and painted high gloss black. So these are the front nose components and a lot of people um, aren't familiar with when you disassemble the front of a 1950 pickup um, how many components there are. So we have our front grille and uh, this grille assembly um, is the upgraded model where uh, the grille itself, these bars or these bands, um, are painted and then you can see where these holes are in this groove, um, they have these chrome strips that are attached. So that's an upgraded front grille assembly to have the chrome slats. Um, so we, we're going to be reattaching those obviously after we do quite a bit of work on these. Um, a lot of people, uh, due to either lack of knowledge or want to change the style, um, in 1950, uh, this grill, um, which is basically a background, and then you have your um, fairly large fenders with eyebrows that come out. So this basically is an inset style to the front nose um, on the F1 and F47 Ford trucks. Um, a lot of people insist on painting this front section the same color as the truck. So for example, if they're painting it red, uh, with black fenders, which you see almost all the time, they typically paint this whole front end red. Um, from the factory, the correct color is either a silver gray uh, in set in the background for a contrast, or they did a creamy beige, almost like a, a washed out beigey white color. Now for our application, because our truck is a really nice Ford beige um, with black fenders, we want the nice contrast, so we are going to paint um, the grill assembly and this whole back. It's going to be the same color, the beige, as the body. So then when we add the accents to it, it's going to give the front end a little more definition because we're going to have our chrome strips here. So you're just going to see a little bit of the grill, uh, just basically the outside edges. Um, you'll see some of the beige coming through, which will give you a nice contrast and, in my opinion, a little bit cleaner look in the front end. So it'll be more of a factory correct look as compared to what it was before. When this Ford truck came to us, uh, someone had painted all the components black. Um, and there was different shades of black, believe it or not, and a lot of runs in the paint. And it was just old product, um, or sorry, new paint product over top of a bunch of old product. So what we've done is we've sandblasted all of the metal components to bare metal. We've applied a two-part black epoxy to seal all of the steel and then we're in the process right now where you can see we have uh, sprayed it with a, a gray high build primer and then this little bit of a black shading that you see is what they refer to as guide coat. So this helps us when we're block sanding it uh, to show any flaws or imperfections um, in any of the components when we're block sanding. So these are still a long way from final 400 grit paper. We just want to share with you the components. So this is the whole front section. There's one more band that goes in here um, and it's shorter and we have it on this other side because there's marker lights um, that we'll install to each side. So this is the other bar or the other component and you can see we have the holes for the chrome strip and then it gets bolted uh, to between the marker lights and the grill. So that hopefully makes sense because we're missing one bar and that's it here for the grill. This other component that we have is the upper nose section or the upper rad support nose section. 
Um, so the hood will come down to this section, and then across here it has the four large letters, the F-O-R-D, um, and this is steel or metal, and it needed quite a bit of fabrication uh, before we got to this stage. Uh, so we did some repairs to it. There's quite a few little dings and imperfections because there's a lot of body filler in it, and we'll share with you later as we get sanding and smoothing because we want this nose to look um, as smooth as possible. All of our speed nuts and fasteners um, are still here and uh, we're going to clean those threads out. We checked them as we disassembled um, and they are um, still working fine and that they will uh, help us with the reassembly later on. As we rotate this cart, <coughs> excuse me, we have another filler panel. You can see we've got the bottom of it painted with the two-part black epoxy. It was bare steel before um, and it was all reassembled um, and it was uh, basically just a sheet of rust. So we sandblasted it and we've applied uh, the two-part black epoxy and then we have this section which we're going to see. Um, so we're once again going to have that all cleaned up um, and we'll be sanding all of that. Now as we rotate this again, we have the lower section uh, that goes below the grill, and it's this fairly large piece here. Um, not only does it go below the grill, but it also attaches to the fender extensions. Um, now this is an aftermarket panel. This is actually fiberglass um, because it becomes part of the front nose. So we've got um, the best quality of fiberglass fenders you can get for the front with the extensions that go from the fender to this basic filler panel. Um, so this goes below the grill. So what we're doing is we're preparing all of the front end components so then when it's time, after all the bodywork is done, we have it at final 400 grit, we're going to paint these parts separately and then reassemble as it should because there's gaskets uh, that go between all of the painted panels that weren't on this vehicle. So uh, for example, when we have the lower panel attached to the grill, there's uh, grommets that go between um, to resist scratching and vibration so as you're driving the truck you don't have components scrubbing against each other. Uh, same thing between the fenders. So when the front fender and extension comes down um, there's going to be a gasket that goes between the two and they're factory um, correct replacement gasket. So you'll see a little bit of a spacing here and that's why we're painting all the parts separately so you'll see the gasket so when you inspect this truck after final assembly, it's going to be kind of like a time warp, like you just pulled out of the showroom floor in 1950, because we want to make it look as authentic as possible. So just a quick update, because a lot of people aren't familiar with all the different pieces or components that make up the front nose and grill assembly of a Ford pickup truck. Um, so I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, AutoRestore.com.